Why is stretching the back so important? And why and how can it be so easy? Let's see. Discs, cartilage, ligaments, and tendons. What do they have in common? They don't have blood vessels to innovate them. So they have to have special attention. That's true for the back and any other joint in the body. They should be at rest. When we wake up, we either sit or stand. And what happens, especially to the discs, they have the natural pressure from our weight on them as we sit and or as we stand. Imagine a sponge that you put under a faucet but you press the sponge down. How much liquid comes into the sponge? Not a lot in comparison to if you open the sponge and let it absorb as much water as possible. A process called imbibition or diffusion is a process where some institutional fluid goes into the disc. That can only happen when the disc is at complete rest, which happens when we lay down. You can accelerate the process if you actually stretch while you're laying down, and then more fluid will come into the disc, will allow it to rehydrate and to be healthier. Shortly, we'll see the process, how it takes place, how easily it can take place. So let's see what happens with the disc at various times of the day. Here is a model for two vertebras, disc, nerve roots, spinal cord. When we sit or stand up as soon as we wake up in the morning, we have pressure that compresses the disc and some of the fluid comes out if you stand and or if you sit. When you do the decompression, it alleviates the pressure and allows more fluid to come into the disc and rehydrate the disc. To properly stretch your back was actually really, really easy to do. Anybody who has a pulse can definitely do it. What my recommendation to, for you to do it, I'm doing it for the last 23 years. Assume that this is your natural bed. This is just a, a bench for demonstration. Sit like I'm sitting right now. Your knees are bent your feet are all the way to the ground. If your bed is high, they're almost all the way to the ground. Now use both elbows to climb up. The pelvis completely relaxed and numb. You will kind of move with your shoulders climbing up. That will cause a little stretch for um, the vertebra. And let's see how it's being done. When I finish the stretch, I continue pressing with the elbows and climbing down. The way I get off the bed is look at my feet and I'll press down this way. This was another stretch. My recommendation is that any time you go into bed, if it's just going to sleep, if you went to the bathroom somewhere at night, once or twice, if that's what it takes, Every time you go back, use that technique. That technique can also be applied on the grass, on a carpet, and anything that is not smooth, so then traction can actually take place.